you're ready. I'm ready for you to tell me about Granddaddy's pets. Dogs. The only thing I know that Grandpa would make a pet out of is something he couldn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the story about the crows is um, it's just an incident in our lives. I was working in the field and uh, well, Papa would plant corn and there was the crow, when it got about two inches tall, would come up and pull, pull up the, the little thing and eat the corn off the bottom. So that killed the plant and he'd have to replant. And, and uh, so he found the uh, mother crow on her nest in an oak tree beside the, you know, right beside the field. And he shot it with a shotgun. That took care of the problem. But I was down there probably three or four days later and uh, I heard a noise up there at the, at the nest. And um, I climbed up the tree. I don't know how old I was. I was old enough to work in the fields. And uh, there was two babies. There was a mother was dead and then one of the babies was, I think she had three. And I got two out of the nest, and I don't remember if I had them down to Ray or how I got them down. I might have threw them down, let them fly. And I took them home, and it looked like I just, Papa just took them, <laughs> took them over, tried to teach, teach them how to talk, you know, name one call and the other one call call, and we could tell them apart. That's different personalities, you know. And he showed me how to keep them, to cut their wings so they wouldn't fly off. Wouldn't, you know. And he would get out in the morning and hoe it in the garden and them two crows would follow him around and eat the bugs and eat the worms he dug out for them. And it was, I think, uh, I think he, he, he enjoyed it. And I, I, I really don't know how many things he enjoyed because he didn't seem to <laughs> enjoy them 18 kids he had, I didn't, I'm exaggerating of course, but where am I? You, you're telling me about the crows following, uh, oh, uh, following they, Papa around. They, everything went fine, but we also had some ducks, and I know they were for food. And the ducks, when they saw the crows, would jump on them, and they broke their little legs, and they never did get well. We should have. We didn't kill them. They just got sick from broken leg. And, you know. Now I would, you know, I think I'd put them away, and put them to sleep on them. But that's a. How about how about how about his dogs? What kind well, of dogs? They, did he? he had. A, well, he had a. He always had dogs, but uh, at this place. Seemed like he, he didn't have all them blue, the rabbit dogs and the and deer dogs. I don't think he had them there because he he wasn't hooked up with that hunting clan, that hunting camp that he used to be, you know, down on the swamp. Mm -hmm. So, he, but he had the uh, uh, black and tan that was naturally bobtail that I remember because I remember I took one of Lois's kids, which may, may be living now, about this tall. I don't know what they were visiting, I guess. But this dog. The only one living now, I think, is Charles. It might have been Charles. Mm -hmm. But it was at the, at the Harrow House up there in Ivanhoe when we first went to Ivanhoe. And uh, I had a little cart. I made a little cart for this dog. And, you, and this dog could fetch. You could say, so I don't care where you threw a hunk of cornbread, that dog. Mm -hmm. So I got it, the old dog was, you know, he would hurt nothing. So I put the baby, I hooked the cart to him and he was laying down in the yard, kind of 45 degrees from where I was going to throw the cornbread. <laughs> 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 and I. I don't know where I had the cornbread here, and I, I, or I went back to house, I might have got, but I put this boy on, on the cart, 
and I threw that piece of wood <laughs> <from there. laughs> And he, he got up and he was digging dirt, you know, and it, it, he got up 45 degrees and he went that way and the car <laughs> <laughs> And like to scare me to death. I said, I killed the boy. <laughs> I know Lois would kill me. <laughs> Lois was my big sister, and she was always, <laughs> she'd hurt you all the way over them kids. I, I heard she fist fight. Oh, she knuckle bust them big boys in the school, yeah. <laughs>